We hit a deer with our camper van 42 days ago and we should be getting our van back today at Mercedes. Let's see if that's gonna happen. So we've been stuck in Billings, Montana for the past 42 days after our deer accident. We really didn't think that it would take this long. Um, the first three weeks it was to get the insurance uh, started and getting the parts for the actual repair. And then the repair itself took two weeks. And right after they tested it, to make sure everything is good, they found another issue, which the body shop had to send the our van over to the Mercedes dealership to get uh, looked at and repaired. And right now the van's sitting in at the um, Mercedes dealership. They got the parts in on Friday and they should be working on the repairs today, as uh, the service advisor told me and they should have the van ready by the afternoon of today. We're excited to reunite with our van and hopefully there are no other issues that they'll, they'll find or come up um, when they're done with this repair. My wife and my son, they're still sleeping in the bedroom and uh, we'll get breakfast started when they're, when they're up. Good morning, fans. Oh, you wanna watch TV already? <laughs> Let's eat breakfast first. You wanna watch that I cook? Let's do it. We're gonna make some corn beef today. You're gonna have cook? Yeah? Give me chu chu chu. Give me cha cha cha. Yeah. And I'm gonna heat up some pork ribs from yesterday. Let's eat. Papa. I'll just take Pips in. Let's bury a bit. Yeah. Hold it like this. You just want the bow, huh? Here. So it's 11.50 right now and I just checked the camera. Uh, Mercedes haven't started on the last bit of repair yet. They said they were going to get it done by today. Hopefully they'll start working on it soon and we can get the van back by the end of the day today. Uh, right now we're going to head over to a playground for a bit so we can play a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Will we get our van back today? Let's try. Nope. What? That's not good. No way. It's uh, 110 right now. Looks like they are, Mercedes started working on the van. I got a notification on the app showing that they unlocked the car. So hopefully they'll be working on it quickly and we'll get our van back. Just waiting for the phone call to let us know when it's done. All right, we're leaving the park now. Spencer looks like he's uh, falling asleep. It's his nap time, so. We're gonna get going. He's falling asleep right now. Tonight I'm gonna be cooking a, a ribeye. I got uh, three ribeyes here that are have been dry brimmed for a day and a half, and I'm gonna sous vide one of them for a few hours, maybe three or four hours. Two, I'll put in the 
fridge and we'll have them for our next one. Vacuum seal. I'm also gonna make some scallops and shrimp, so I'll just took them out of the freezer. Uh, I'm gonna defrost them and then uh, we'll make them for later tonight. I just got an update from Mercedes from the service advisor. It looks like they found uh, a small issue. I think it's a cracked elbow. I'm not really sure what that is, but it uh, looks like they will be rushing that part in for tomorrow. And um, if it comes in tomorrow, he said it should be done uh, maybe tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. So um, still delayed, still here. Um, good thing is today is Monday. We booked our Airbnb till Wednesday. So we're checking out Wednesday. Um, because originally he said it was going to be finished either Monday or Tuesday. So we got, we gave ourselves a little bit more time, um, and we, we needed it. Right. So hopefully tomorrow is really going to be the day that we can get our van back. So that's the update on the repair. The ribeye has been in the sous vide for, for three hours at 133 degrees. And I'm going to take it out and we're going to put it in a, ice bath over here so it stops cooking and when I sear it the temperature is going to stay within the, uh, the medium rare range and we're going to be eating scallops and shrimps put them in the fridge for a little bit to kind of dry off to get a good sear and I'm going to pat it down to dry it even further you guys will see a lot of um, seafoods and meats. Those are the main things that we cook because I'm on a carnivore diet, so I eat, I eat meat. It's uh, better for you. But my son and wife still eats uh, carbs, so I'm gonna be making these croissants for tonight as well. Can you can help me make some croissants. I'll put them on the baking sheet. Pat it dry to get a really good sear on this ribeye. Okay. I'm gonna add a little beef tallow. Get it. Hot, hot fire. Smoky. We're gonna turn down the heat and uh, taste the butter. And the croissant is looking good too. Let that cool a little bit. Welcome, guys. Yeah, the uh, smoke alarm is going off. A lot of smoke in here. We're 
a couple of scallop mix. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get news that the van is ready and we'll be able to pick it up. So we're going to enjoy dinner and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.